Mesdames, Messieurs, notre prochain combat est un combat hors tournoi. Premier combat en tournoi de la soirée, combat élimination pour déterminer l'aspirant numéro 1 au championnat du Commonwealth britannique de la NWA. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is an elimination six man scramble for the number one championship for the NWA British Commonwealth Championship. What a force to be reckoned with, the Dominator. So explaining very quickly, this is a scramble match. All six men begin in the ring, and it is falls finish, meaning you can be eliminated, but the match does not end. You just have to get out of the ring, and it continues with less competitors till you're down to one. That's it, Tony. Elimination occurs with a pitfall submission or a wide disqualification. Elimination rules, if I were one of these superstars, I'm way outside the ring. Till one of my opponent gets out, wait for the final two. And here we go. Action is spilled everywhere, Tony. I don't know what to call. The clothesline! <laughs> clothesline! Clothesline! 
Mercer just unloading clotheslines on everybody. Here comes Dom Boulanger, though. Not a man who you can normally take off your feet. Look at this. Handspring. Clothesline. Clothesline, Tony. Mercer dominating the scramble. Frankie Verrillo coming from behind. Look at this. Wait, that crafty pest. That crafty Frankie Verrillo had his feet on the rope, rolled up Mark Mercer. Well, that wasn't even a minute, Tony. That crafty pest. Oh, look at that. Antonio Corsi coming off the top rope with a drop kick. Couldn't get pinned himself, though. Man, Frankie that. Varillo, not a dumb man, knowing how to pick the scraps. Practically a vulture in that ring. Well, it seems like he's studying everyone, taking the advantage of every Tom opportunity. Tom Boulanger with a butterfly suplex. And look, look at this. Varillo again. Trying to steal the pin. Uh-oh. Varillo thrown to the outside once more. But here comes the coach, Tony. The coach, he has a game plan for sure. Coach taking on what? Tom. Well, Varello now he is mean the outside pretty much. They're becoming best friends. Simon Paulson with a big DDT. Does Frankie Varello think of going for a pin right there? Well, 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 he put his foot on Paulson, and technically that is a pin, Tony. I mean, I don't know who would get the credit for it. And would it matter because... Regardless, Coach could have been eliminated there, but I think Frankie Verrillo has four big problems right now. Oh, yeah, and I think everyone has, has had enough of Frankie Verrillo. Everyone just teeing off on poor Verrillo right now. The rat, the pest, Frankie Verrillo. Ooh, where does that don't shine? Evan Paulson with the atomic drop. Oh. Dom Boulanger holding him up. Big scoop slam. What are these four men thinking? <laughs> Just even the ref even is getting the in on it. Is getting involved in this. That's what is referee Patrick Spell is thinking. He's a senior official here at Torture Chamber. Sometimes, Tony, your emotions get the best of you. But when you have a pest like Frankie Verrillo in the ring, I don't blame you for getting a little upset. Oh, back the action in the ring. Well, outside the ring, and well, Verrillo back in the ring. Coming from behind on Dom. Is he begging for mercy here? What's Frankie Verrillo thinking here? What's Dom thinking here? Oh, the Dominator. Hoisting up Verrillo and tossing him onto the men of the outside like a rag doll. Well, Tony, this isn't a battle royal. This isn't over the top rope. You got to pin your opponent or make him submit inside the ring. And you mentioned it earlier. Pound for pound, the strongest man in that ring, Dom Boulanger. Well, the more Just getting hung up, though. Here comes Antonio Corsi with those running elbows. Man, this Corsi is full of energy, isn't he, Tony? He'll come at you full steam. Don Boulage being able to roll out of the way. And Corsi eats up Spinebuster for his troubles from Stephen Paulson. Paulson, a huge victory at the last chamber event over Drew Onyx. And look at this. Well, why not? Double submission on a Corsi. One cross face, tapping out. Just far too much, being bent well, in ways that human bodies shouldn't bend. Well, Tony, you're going to see some alliances be formed, and then they'll get broken to the last man standing. And here comes the coach back of the ring. You know, Tony? Well, here you go. Paulson and Dom just looking at each other for a moment. And uh, coach, you might want to get it out of there. Not the spot you want to be. Ooh. Two big men are just hammering away on Coach Kevin Bryan like a punching bag. Oh, Whoa. Coach Smart and tucking. Dom just walloping Paulson right, right now. Right to the ice. And you know what, Tony? You have to wake up in the morning extra early to outsmart Coach Kevin Bryan. Taking up the big man, chopping him right down. Bryan being very smart here and just stomping away at Boulanger, keeping him grounded. As a big guy like that, you should always keep down. That's the big splash by Coach Kevin Bryan. The intelligent... Woodland, he likes to say. Look at this very unique submission, just twisting the wrist and the elbow of the Dominator. Well, could Paulson think he could team up with Brian here? Well, you know, every man or is for he just himself. waiting? Nope, decided he didn't want to wait for the submission and decided to take out the smaller Kevin Bryan. Now, was that wise, Tony, letting your opponent free? 
in my mind, if he's if he's got a temporary alliance with Dom Boulange, he wants to keep him around just a little bit longer. That's why he possibly waited while the submission was in there longer, weakening Dom Boulange for him later. But if that submission was locked on, Tony, why keep the biggest and most dominant force in this match to the finals? Oh my god, Dom Boulange with a big spear intended for Kevin Bryan. And now the big, big drop kick going in for the pin. Tony, Alliance is broken, like I said, not wise of Paulson for breaking up that submission. But you know what, Tony? It's for the number one contendership for the British Commonwealth Championship. Don Boulanger examining the landscape here, realizing Paulson's out. Paulson's very upset at this point. There's all friends here, Tony. Every man for himself. Don Boulanger going to pick up Kevin Bryan. Oh, Paulson from behind. Oh, wait a second now. Sore loser right here. And he's just teeing away at the big man. Nobody Referee letting him know that you've been eliminated. You got to get out of the ring. Normally this qualification would happen here if someone from the outside would interfere, but Paulson's already been eliminated here, and nothing the referee, like you said, Tony, could do about it. But let it go. Major turn of events here for Paulson. Look at Boulanger just favoring the side of his face right there. What's Eight many right hands. Oh, wait a second. What's Paulson looking here? Oh, oh come on. This is uncalled for. Don't don't do it, Paulson. Be the bigger man. Paulson with a chair. To the face of Don Boulanger, knocking him out. Nothing the referee could do here, Tony. This is just a swinging tragedy. as hard as he could across the back of Blue Lange right there. This is a tragedy here, Tony. This this is such a competitive scramble elimination match, and Paulson. But look who's still away. in the ring, Kevin Bryan, who's not been eliminated. Seven Paulson. Does he think of getting pieces. Kevin Bryan? Oh well, not for the coach either. Now, this is just uncovered. There's no way Boulanger can come back from this picking up the pieces. Paulson, bitter. You made your point, Paulson. You made your point. And here's the senior oh. officials to get Paulson out of this match. Thank God. Kevin Bryan laid out. The Dominator laid out. To shame the match what are these like men this. to do here? Well, what's the referee going to do? Will we end this match right here and have a no winner? Referee using his discretion going for a 10 count as both men are on the mat. Right, Tony. The only two in the ring. And they're both down. Referee has to use his 10 count here. What if no one gets up, Tony? The, the match is a draw. It's over. Referee up to a six oh, count of this wait, wait Frank a and Varilla, who was not eliminated I in the ring. Smart, crafty, mad Varillo. I forgot about him. Only able to pick up a two count on both competitors who were downed. Well, Varilla now just might be the favorite to win this match. Well, you saw it, Tony, when Varillo slid into the ring. Referee had to stop his count automatically as the third man has entered. He's standing on his feet and went for the cover on Boulanger. Kicked out, went to cover the coach. And Is he trying to talk the coach into attacking Dom Boulanger with him? Well, maybe the coach has no idea who was pinning him. He was knocked out by a chair. Maybe he thought Dom was pinning him. Where Dom is Boulanger Dom? fighting back. Oh, my Where God. Where is he getting this from, Tony? Unbelievable. But the numbers game, Tony, taking out the big guy. Tremendous. Both men go. trying to pin Don Boulanger. Kicking out with authority. They know it. He's the biggest man in the match, the biggest threat. Still standing. After all those chair shots, he's still standing. They got to work together here. Breaking through. Close lines. Double close line. Where is he getting it from, Tony? That fighting spirit deep down inside. Hooking in. Uh -oh, Kevin Bryant, uh -oh. that is it. Good night. Signature move. Kevin Bryant. Good night. So long. We'll see you at the next show. Dom Boulanger staring down the laughing hyena.
nowhere to go. Where is Dalton getting this from? But is the damage too little or too late? Frankie Varillo. Varillo, clearly much fresher than Don Boulanger, not being attacked by a couple of chair shots. Going for that DDT, and uh-oh. He just got caught, and this is not going to be a good landing. Game over. TKO from Don Boulanger on to Frankie Varillo. One, two, three. Tony, impressive, big, big win. Against all odds, Frankie is down, and Don Boulanger is your new number one contender for the NWA British Commonwealth Championship. Well, who will the champion be when they meet? Will it be Stu Corvus, Pat Gannett, or Oliver Strange? Time will tell. Big win for the Dominator.